years across his career. All grounds, his set shot history from this point, from 50 out. And he, ooh, that's close. Score out of bounds on the full. That's nearly a score review. I'm not going to take it. <laughs> Certainly could have been entitled to have one. Absolutely. Going down the middle of the ground here. Under two minutes to go. Dockers lost one by a point last week. The Cats want a close one. Away they go, Brayshaw. Terrific tackle again. Well done by Myers. Didn't let Brayshaw escape. Let's have a look at this on the replay. That's on the full. It's a good call. Goes right over the top of the post. Minute 40 to play. The drums are beating. The Dockers under the pump. Walker coughed it up. Now it's close. Got Matter in support. Sean Matter. A match winner. You could hear the drums going, they were beating. Justin Longmuir, not happy. They rolled the dice, Frio and Geelong, like they have done all day. They've just been efficient. The pressure, the tackling. It's been elite by Geelong all day. Sean Manor doesn't miss those. Puts it away. That is, that is game, that is game set and match. You look at all the major stats in this last quarter, they're all in Fremantle's favour, except inside 50s. That's where the Cats have been able to break it over. Weight, weight of numbers, and how important is that? 127 to go. And they sit third on the ladder with two winnable games to come, the Cats. Two coaches know exactly what it means. Geelong powering on in this final turn. Dangerfield has been huge. Leading his side, long kick, Draper. Drop the mark. Still just over a minute to go. Fremantle cannot waste any time. They need two goals. But the Cats looking strong. Stewart a big mark. Zukowski slow to get back to his feet. Then almost the smother. Into the pocket. Stengel waiting down. Warner. Time going to be too much for the Dockers, you'd think. Chapman to Young. Over the top, Brayshaw. Showed too much of it. Stewart overran it. Goes back in again. Young. They have to be perfect. Oh. And that certainly isn't. Drop by Frederick. Humphreys over the top. Errors laid on in this one. Close just hacks it forward. Gains territory. He had a player there. It will be a boundary throw in. With 36 seconds remaining. The Cats by 11. Well, this is going to take it to number five this year. The Dockers leading at three-quarter time and losing. That is what's happening right here, Freo fans. It's another winnable game that they haven't been able to get done when the pressure has been on. 36 seconds to go. Stanley down. Brayshaw. Holding Fremantle. Fremantle free kick. But under 30 seconds remaining now. Brayshaw will switch it up. Trying to find Walker. Stengel putting some pressure on. The Cats have been huge in this final term. They cough up the free kick there, but... And then it's kicked away. Time-wasting. Freo fans wanted a 50. Yeah, it's big time-wasting. Max Home gets away with one. They're late. Now they get the 50. Walker is well beyond his range, so he just tees it up. It spills through. Crashing out Voss. And now Stewart puts it on the boot. A brilliant performance by Geelong. Away from home. Some fighting spirit. Fremantle lose another close one. And if you thought the Cats were done, you are sorely mistaken. Geelong just find a way for Jezza in game 250.